So in my mind, there's one situation where the superdelegates could be relevant. Uh, so I, I th look, I, obviously we don't uh, see eye to eye on everything, and this is among them. I think the pledge delegates uh, should, should decide uh, who wins the election. But the one area where the superdelegates could be relevant, in my mind, is if there is an extraordinary circumstance. For example, if the FBI has a dozen agents investigating you and then you get indicted before the convention. Now, uh, I'm not allowed to say that. That's what the rest of the media tells me. Shh, you're not allowed to talk about it. And what's interesting is you guys don't talk about it. So I'm wondering why you don't, because I'm pretty sure that if the FBI had a dozen agents investigating you, Hillary Clinton would talk about it. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I'm running a different type of campaign. And because I think this profound disgust with the political process as it now stands. Uh, and what I have done my best in this campaign is not to attack Hillary Clinton uh, on a personal level. Uh, and what I think the American people want to see is a discussion about the issues that impact their lives. Okay? And the issues that impact their lives are they're working longer hours for low wages, they can't afford to send their kids to college, there is massive and grotesque levels of income inequality in this country, we've got to deal with climate change, we've got to deal with paid family and medical leave, we're the only major country not to have health care to all people. So what I'm trying to do in this campaign is not to say, hey, Bernie Sanders is a wonderful guy, Hillary Clinton is a terrible, flawed human being, vote for me. What I'm trying to do is create a political revolution so millions of people stand up and fight for their own families and for their own lives on those issues that are important to them. And once you get off of that stuff and you go after you know, Bill Clinton's personal life or you know, Hillary here, there are investigations on the way. They will play out. All right, Believe me, they will be in the newspapers. I don't have to talk about them. So that's the reason why. And I do feel strongly about that. So you don't talk about it, but there is a circumstance under which an indictment does sure. happen before well, the convention. If it happens, do you make that case to the superdelegates? Well, look, you don't have to make the case. Every superdelegate, these people are not dumb. I may disagree with them. They may be more conservative to me. They're not dumb. And they want as much as anything in this world to make certain that Donald Trump does not become president. But that gets to the issue that I mentioned a moment ago. Their job, their ultimate job is to determine who is the strongest candidate and how we defeat Trump. And certainly if, 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 and I'm not saying it is, uh, but if something like that were to happen, would that impact uh, the electorate? Of course it would. And would that be taken into consideration by the delegates? Of course it would.